so these are the mechanisms and still there are terms we use and it's 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 sort of a how you should look at it uh, and we use this in other tissues but it came out of grain and it's more like uh, how you should think of a stroke as as a process in a way or or so uh, the terms i want to mention over here is a necrotic core and th this works for any trauma or any infarction in a way but in the brain and it's studying the most and it came out of it but you can use it for any any other tissue and and the zone which surrounded you know what you call the zone have you heard the term it's like shadow it's a half shadow half shadow half, half shade half shadow it's called penumbra penumbra zone and the thing you should understand is, if you have a stroke, that means necrosis, the cells die. And those are the, the ones in the core. Okay? And basically, we know if the perfusion of this part, core, decreases, what is the normal perfusion of brain tissue? Of course, it depends if it's the cortex, which is thinking now, but like it's 75 milliliters per, per 100 grams per minute it's in the really like highest uh, functional place but in average it's normal it's like 50 milliliters per 100 grams per minute okay so but if the perfusion decreases below 10 let's say you're gonna have stroke well, obviously okay. in this place they will be dead necrosis no chance okay so basically you as a doctor you cannot do anything with this part Okay, the thing you can do, and th this is the way why you try to help the patient, is to save as much cells, you know, because you should imagine like, like, here's occlusion, so this is the, like the core. And then there are other branches, like here, another branch, and it supplies the, so the blood, you know, these cells are supplied from other vessels as well. And of course they're far from it, so they get some supply, but not too well. And this is what you are fighting for. You want to save as many neurons in this penumbra zone. And penumbra is like between 10 and 20 milliliters. So if, if there is this, this perfusion, you're going to have some cells like really ischemic, like almost dying, but still like maybe a bit breathing. And you want to, all your intention is for the penumbra zone. Okay? But it's the same with in heart attack. Again, it's the same. Uh, there's necrosis in the middle. You won't do anything with it. And when you reperfuse and when, when you do angioplasty, you are hoping that the cells, the, the muscle cells, which are like ischemic but still enough, that they're going to survive. And you, you, you try to save as much of the cells as possible. Okay? Yeah? And it's the same with uh, trauma. Same idea. Again, if, if someone hits you to a muscle, then there's going to be necrotic place in the middle, like mechanically only, and there's going to be a swollen part around it. So the idea is, for example, to cool it down, that maybe you can like sort of uh, uh, like, like calm, the, calm the cells, impact the cells down, and they, that they will survive. That's a question if it's true, but yeah, it's sort of everyone does it in sports, you know, like hockey players. Yeah. Although when they fall on ice and they hit themselves, they put ice on the place. Okay. So and, and uh, with ice hockey, it's good because ice is always available in one. Anyway, so so you got the idea what is core and what is penumbra. Maybe you will I'll be asked about this. I'm sure neurologists love penumbra, so you should know. Okay. Yeah. So that's penumbra. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.